Okay, so uh, this is polar motion example two, and what we're going to be focusing on here is, um, well, first of all, we're going to lay out some of the equations, and then we'll give you a quick, easy little uh, example. So, first of all, let's do, you have your V will equal R dot, and then in the direction of the R, plus R theta dot e theta. Okay, well then, what's your acceleration? Your acceleration will be r double dot minus r theta dot squared. And that is in the r direction once again. Plus you have the quantity of r theta dot double dot plus two r dot theta dot and here is e theta okay so here's those are your two equations, and uh, let's just draw a quick little situation so we can kind of get a nice feel for this. Um, I'll try to give us enough information so we won't struggle and we won't have to make things up. Let's see if I can do it right off the bat here. Uh, let's just since we just came from Christmas. All right, here's a Christmas tree. Uh, bad one. There you go. And what we have here is a trunk, and let's just say that goes into the ground or something. Okay. And what we want to do is, let's see. Let's say that we have this little pulley system up here, okay? Just a one-to-one -one ratio, but it's pulling this, what I'm going to draw as a star, because I can draw. Now that star is being pulled up by a, a young lady over here young lady okay now she is pulling at a velocity of v okay we don't know what that equals uh... let's say that we have a reference point which is over here, let's say right here maybe, and this reference point is from the boyfriend, I guess you could say, and he can be, you know, snoozing, just crossing his legs or something. Not sexist, I just notice trends. So here we are, and this will be, let's say, let's say maybe an extension cord for the lights or something like that. Okay, so let's call that an extension cord, and you have your theta right here. This will be our um, a, a reference point of the boyfriend, you could say that uh, maybe that extension cord is, first of all, let's just say that extension cord is 40 feet long, and that theta is at maybe 15 degrees, let's say, and let's say that theta dot is going up 0 0.02 um, radians a second. So basically, with this information, I think we have enough now, um, we could say what is V? What's the rate she's pulling that, that cord? And here's an even better one. We're just going to stick to velocities in this example, but what about this? What, how many feet per second? How many, how many uh, feet per second? of uh, extension cord is being pulled out is being used or pulled out uh, I'm just going to say is being uh, pulled up 
I'll just say pull button. Okay. So not only that, we want to know how quickly it is. So basically, what is that asking? It's asking for, first of all, V. It wants to know that. And it also wants to know what R dot is. That's essentially what it's asking. So how we have to do this is I would just cut out the tree and all the drawing and the people and everything and just lay it out in a real simple fashion. Um, first of all, you have your star, which is being pulled directly upwards, okay? So this is the actual velocity of this object, okay? This is V. But we want to put this in terms of the of the point of reference, which would be from the boyfriend or, you know, over here somewhere at 15 degrees. Okay? We know that this is 40 feet. So we want actually something that's perpendicular, like so. And then we need, okay, so we know that, first of all, we have this tangent direction. So this is E, which I'm going to just call it T. And then you have this, or, or I should call it E theta e theta, and then this will be e r, okay? So basically what you realize is that um, what v is, which basically is e to the z hat, right? So we know that e to the z in this direction will basically equal e theta plus E R. Now this is not a universal equation. This is not a universal equation. Please don't use it. I'm just I, I'm using this. Just um, there are scalars that are missing. So scalars are missing. Please re realize that. I just want to use this as like an organizing tool. Okay. So with this geometry, I think that we can use some of the terms to kind of gather up our speeds and let's let's just do that we we know that our v will equal um, from these relationships we can tell that this is 15 so the thus right here in between here is also 15 degrees that's just from geometry so from there we can tell that v cosine of 15 degrees will equal 40 times 0 0.02. And that's just from the, the, the function that you see above. That's r, that's r right here, 40, and that's and that's theta dot. And that will equal our velocity times cosine of 15 degrees. And that's just to find this is basically what is this? This is basically your e theta. That's all it's doing. It's converting it from the z direction to e theta. So when we calculate that, we find out that our v is actually equal to 0.828 feet per second. So now we know that the whole speed, this thing's going up, actually almost like it seems to be like 0.828 feet per second. Which is, that, I mean, that's quick. So what we do is we just pull that out. We know that basically V is going to be the, the, the hypotenuse of the, of the uh, triangle, so we just break it down into a triangle. We know that this part is 0.828 in velocity. We know that this part is uh, 40 times 0 0.02, so 40 times 0.02 and we know that this one is just going to be uh, in the r direction so I would actually call this r dot. So you can kind of see we already have v this is already one one solution we just need r dot so let's just use the Pythagorean theorem 0.828 squared is equal to then you have 40 times 0 0.02, that whole quantity squared, plus r dot squared. And when you work out the algebra, r dot 
will equal 0 0.2135 and that is feet per second. Not too bad. And basically that's how quickly the extension cord is being pulled out. So it is actually leaving the wheel or whatever is over there, a pile of extension cord. It's going out that quickly, 0 0.2135 feet per second. So kind of an interesting little um, way to pull out these problems. Um, I realized that I did use some of the nomenclature that you would use in a cylindrical problem, uh, namely uh, theta. But you need to learn to recognize uh, when to use one or the other realize that this had a fixed point over here so I would use a polar and it did not matter if I used phi or if I used uh, theta so either way works uh, just whatever feels comfortable for you let's do one more example